So, you bought the penthouse. That's wonderful. Nice to see you again. Hello, Miss Baker. Oh, hello, Tom. Uh, boss, do you need any help with, uh, with Mr. Cheng, perhaps? No, Tom, that'll be all. Uh, maybe some champagne. Uh, good idea, why not? So listen, um, if you need any advice about, well, anything, but in particular business here, Tom's the person to speak to. And always happy to oblige. This truly is a happy day. I must show you around your new home. Miss Baker, are you sure I can't help with uh, Mr. Uh, you know, maybe that would be a good idea. <laughs> Tommy boy, I got so bad. Uh, Mr. Cheng, oh, 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 he's totally fucked like a melon. I, I mean, the job stresses. This is Mr. Cheng. Our, our owner, Mr. Cheng. Oh, boy, he's at the trophy line. <laughs> the good news, sir, <laughs> is we have sold the penthouse to this lucky man. Oh, let's hook out! <laughs> oh, oh, I, what time are I selling here? <laughs> Rehab has not worked out so well. <laughs> His uncle, there's a lot of pressure. <laughs> well, people, isn't this a happy day? Get the champagne. Oh, champagne! Oh, 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 yeah. Chang, I, I had another aggressive call from the Texans, from Avery Duggan. Mm -hmm. He said you've been pretty rude. The takeover is turning hostile. Let's have this champagne. Oh, where's the karaoke machine? <laughs> oh, yeah, I like Mr. Chang said he's very sorry, but he's under a lot of stress. He didn't say that at all. Oh, no, but he meant it. Whatever. Oh, Avery Duggan is not a nice man. This won't be good for business. If he's serious, he's not above blackmail. Jeez. The truth is, well, his uncle is a Kowloon murderer. He's made it clear he will kill all of us if this place fails and brings disgrace to his privileged nephew. But that isn't the serious problem. The real problem is Avery Duggan. Yes, the Texan asset sipper who realized we're fucked and is putting all kinds of heat on us to sell at knockdown prices after he's destroyed this place and your apartment and my career in the process. Anyway, welcome to your new home. I've got to go. Well, if you need anything at all, you know where to find me. <laughs> After this cutscene, if you wait in-game for a few minutes, you will receive this phone call. Look, I tried to explain this in your penthouse, but here it is. The diamond may look brand new and sparkling, but it's actually in trouble. The rebuild went way over budget, and the Chengs had to refinance. The new debt came from these Texans, the Duggins, and now they want to take over completely. They're a multinational with interests in oil and gas, security services, and gambling. And if they buy us, they will strip out everything they can. Every contract will be undercut, including your ownership of the penthouse. So, if you want to help us get out of this, come see me in my office by table games. There has been a development. If you do help, and this works out positively, there could be a significant dividend in it for you. Alright, so this is the phone call you would get if you normally bought the penthouse for the casino, which actually varies a lot in prices, but if you just get the basic rooms and don't go over and buy unnecessary rooms such as the spa, office, lounge area, and all of that content that Rockstar simply asked for us to spend millions on, when in fact we don't really ever need those types of rooms. For example, for me the penthouse set me back a total of 2.4 million dollars, and I actually bought the car garage, which is nearly a million, and I didn't even need it all, since I don't have too many cars at the moment, but I will soon, so that I can feature them to you guys, and so that you can comfortably decide whether buying the car would be good or bad for you. But going back to the main topic of this video, today I will show you guys the first three missions for the casino DLC that you, the player, has to undertake in order to save it, I guess, from a mean family of Texans that want to take over it. So while Agatha Baker sinks her ass into her comfy office chair, you'll be out there fighting and probably dying lots of times too, all to be rewarded by a minor or big prize at the end, which I will reveal in the next video when I finish all the casino missions, but I will let you guys decide on whether the final prize is actually worth the numerous missions that had to be completed.
I will also be giving you guys bits of tips to help you throughout these missions, especially if you play them on hard difficulty, which is what me and my friend did. Remember that playing on hard difficulty grants you the biggest rewards when completing the mission, but as you'll see, the mission itself only pays out around $13,000 in a bit of RP. The good side is that the first time you complete a mission, you're given $50,000, so it works pretty similarly to heists, since when you complete it, those who were given some bonus dollars, about 100000 so completing two of these missions for the first time would be like completing a heist for the first time. So with everything said, let's get right into the video. And of course, make sure to subscribe for more dedicated videos like this one. Also, if any of you have any ideas that you would like to be featured in my channel, make sure to let me know down in the comments. To start the first mission, you will need to go over to this management area inside the casino and step inside the circle to begin. It will automatically take you into a lobby, usually with randoms, but if you want to do it with some friends, just find the solo lobby and invite them there. So here goes the cutscene for the first mission. Miss Baker is expecting you. Just go on in. Ah, oh, good. Thank you for coming. I think I mentioned we have some ownership problems. Mr. Duggan. Exactly. The Duggan family. They want to buy this place, but first they mean to destroy it so they can rebrand it, write off all its debts, and get it cheap, then turn it into a tacky dump. I feel awful asking for your help, but I obviously cannot go to the police, and we are trying to avoid a trade war or an international dispute. The Changs are considered respectable businessmen. They're not. The Chinese government cannot stand them. I know, but they pay me to say that. At the same time, Tao, Tao Cheng, our owner who you met, has disappeared. Ugh. Now, normally when Mr. Chang disappears for three days, I think no big deal. Party, few crash cars, and everything's fine when I write a few checks. But this time, he go out to score Crystal, and he don't come back. He said something about a contact in the desert, a meth dealer he had met, and now we think he's been kidnapped by some bikers out near Sandy Shores. Really the last thing we need, another scandal. Is there any way you can head out there and have a look for him? <laughs> Champagne, anyone? You will start the mission off outside the casino with your personal vehicles, so make sure to have a fast vehicle to get there quickly, but it's gonna be at least a two-seater, because we're going to pick Chang up later, so make sure. Okay, we think Mr. Chang is at an old abandoned motel in Sandy Shores, and hopefully alive, too. It's still not clear if this is a kidnapping or an extended after-party. It's probably a bit of both. But we need him back here at the casino as soon as possible. The Duggins have stepped up their takeover attempt, and we need our owner here to keep things calm. No matter how wired he might be. I don't think the Duggins are behind the kidnapping itself. They're major investors in a private military company, so if they wanted Tao taken, they have plenty of big men with guns to do it. No, these are just regular old meth-dealing bikers. Who are not going to like seeing you show up to spoil the fun. Please, just find Tao and bring him back here. Alright, so we have just over 2 kilometers left. Once you get there, you can do this mission in two ways, which are stealth, which many of you are probably just gonna ditch and go for the guns blazing way, which is the second method of doing this mission. Going guns blazing doesn't really require an explanation, just kill all the guys and escort Chang back to one of your personal vehicles. Don't worry about Chang dying, he can't be shot by the bikers that are gonna be shooting you, so you can obviously die, so I recommend bringing max snacks and body armor, just the more you have, the more of a bleeding you can take. So you already know we can do this stealthily, but we actually went for the guns blazing way, which is what you're going to be seeing now. I actually tried doing the mission stealthily, but as you'll see I was interrupted by one of the randoms who just started firing with his loudest gun. I presume that by doing it silently you will avoid major fighting that you'd otherwise have to do if you do it noisily, so all in all try doing it stealthily. That will obviously require you to, and your friends to use weapons with silencers to avoid being detected. Always try going for headshots, because that will pretty much guarantee the one-shot kill, and just keep repeating this until you find Chang. Chang is usually in the upper floor, so just know that you're not going to find him downstairs. While your friends look for Chang and escort him towards their personal vehicles, hold the enemies off for your friends, and once Chang is brought to the car, jump in yours, and get the hell out of there. As you'll be seeing now, I highly and extremely advise you to bring some sort of weaponized vehicle. Don't do what I did and use the new Benefactor car, because it's not the best weaponized vehicle. Hello? Okay, can I confirm that you found him? And he's still alive? Thank God. Get him back here as soon as you can. We'll prepare a sedative. 
Anyways, I suggest bringing an oppressor as the vehicle has the best in-game missiles and will pretty much guarantee a kill on whichever enemy you lock onto. If an oppressor isn't available, use Vigilante, Scramjet, Deluxo, etc. Basically, any vehicle that can destroy other cars so that your friends who are escorting Cheng aren't bothered by the NPCs and so that you can quickly and safely drive back to the casino. If you did bring a land vehicle heavy enough to push other cars, try pushing and hitting against the back of your friend's car, just simply to help them go a bit faster. As you can see in this section of the road, and pretty much till you get to the casino, the NPCs will just be mounted on bikes, so a nice armored vehicle like the Benefactor is sure to hurt them a bit. Also don't try going off-road, stick to the freeways, the fastest way possible, even if you have to deal with the spawning NPCs. So once the mission is complete, the outro cutscene will play. Well, thank you again. And anyway, I hope this will be the last of it, and we can make the Duggins go away. So that was my tips on how to best get this mission out of the way. If it's your first time completing, then congratulations because you'll be earning 50,000 on top of the cash you paid. You got paid when the mission ended. So to sum things up, I would personally advise you to do it silently and as stealthily as possible. I haven't completed the mission with that method, but I assure you that you won't have to face as much resistance as I did when I did the mission. If you want to do it noisily, then you should take with you the following. Scorting car, best be armored, such as the Kuruma, Duco Death, Benefactor, etc. The support players bring weaponized vehicles that can protect the escorting vehicle. If you have two support players, have one go in front and the other go on the back. Just like a sports team, everyone counts in this one. So guys, that was today's GTA video, and if this was useful, helpful, or fun in some way, do let me know in the comments and I will post videos on tips for the remaining casino DLC missions. Also, if you want to wreck some noobs, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, and whatever you want, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.